It really is nice to be back in Calgary. Enjoy every visit. We're here for a while now, two months, and it all starts with the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. It is a very tight pool B as the teams make a push to the top of the table. Today we feature a couple of three and two teams with hopes of making it to the weekend. One of the most decorated curlers ever picked up another record yesterday. Jennifer Jones is now the winningest player ever as she picked up 153rd win and looking for a seventh title. Suzanne Burke wants to get back to the championship pool and she's on track to do just that, but it will not be an easy pass. PEI, Manitoba, draw 14, next. We are just west of downtown Calgary. This is Canada Olympic Park, and part of it is Windsport Arena. There are four hockey facilities in that building, uh, which ours is the Olympic size facility with the four sheets of play. Let's get you caught up what happened this morning. All of them from Group A. Wild card number three, Peterson, four in the third. They are a winner. Wild card number two, Zacharias, got one in ten to pick up the win. Northwest Territories, goodness, they stole three against Ontario. Kerry Galusha threw 89%, and what a shootout. Four in five, though, was the difference as Team Canada beats UConn. So as we tip the standings, look at Pool A. We know for a fact, remembering that only four will make it through to the championship pool. Aners and Holman are in, but it's still... Eight of nine teams are alive in Pool B. And on this Wednesday afternoon, we do say hello, Canada. Welcome back to our continued coverage. Cheryl Russell alongside. So you saw just how messy that Pool B is. And today we've got two teams in PEI, Manitoba, Russ. Both of them with two losses. You don't want that third because you still have a ways to go. Yeah, you really do. This is, this is a huge game. But... Jennifer's getting caught once in a while. They're such an aggressive team. That's by design to put pressure on the opponent. It also puts pressure on your own team. Your de de degree of difficulty goes up. So what's happening is the slide path's moving around a little bit. They're getting caught once in a while. They're losing once in a while. Right. They have to simplify, play the ice conditions. Now we've talked about the difference this year on, into this bubble. So it's not necessarily what goes on between the boards. It's what goes on between your ears. Well, it is. It's how you mentally handle this environment, the lack of preparation, the restrictions even. But more so, it's how you mentally handle not playing up to your own expectations out there. And Suzanne Burt, we haven't seen her play to the level she's used to, and she's been struggling with her draw weight. But you have teammates out there, and they aren't struggling with the draws. So help her out there. Communicate the paths. Talk about what it feels like and get her numbers back up to what we're used to seeing. So that is our feature when we come back on this Wednesday afternoon, Manitoba, PEI, both at two losses and both in that log jam of Pool B. As I continue on in my career and all of a sudden there's history that you can make, it, it definitely is meaningful to me to be able to win seven Scotties just seems unfathomable. But it really is just about stepping on the podium with these girls and hoping that we can give ourselves an opportunity to make the final. Our goal is to be on top of the podium. We put a lot of hard work and time into this, so the goal for the end of the week is to be Team Canada. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. By Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. By Cashmere Bathroom Tissue, nothing feels like it. And by New Holland. Proud sponsor of Curling Canada. Well, that's all part of Canada Olympic Park, of course. And there you saw the illusion Bob runs from the Winter Games of F88. Time to meet the teams now. Brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. The Manitoba champions hail from the St. Vital Curling Club in Winnipeg, skipped by Jennifer Jones, now 153 wins, and backed up by Lisa Weagle, who uh, replaces Don McEwen, who is expecting in April, Jocelyn Peterman and Caitlin Laws. Prince Edward Island champions are from the Montague and Cornwall Curling Clubs. Suzanne Burt, former Canadian junior champion, world junior is a skip with Michelle Quaid, Megan Hughes, and the Hughes and early advantage to Prince Edward Island as they do win the draw to the button. So they will have the last drops. 
They'll have the hammer playing the Yellowstones. Manitoba, the red. And to get us underway, the Manitoba lead is Lisa Weeple. That will go a long way for uh, Prince Edward Island to make, uh, to get the hammer, because Suzanne actually threw one of those draws and threw it right to the tee line, so. Looks still like backboard to me. Okay. Your stat was Good. something like 180% okay. uh, wherever his hammer wins. So that's, like you say, that's a start for sure. Still got 80 rocks to go each though. It's a three and a half, Caitlin. I think this Burt team, uh, Cheryl, they, uh, they, were, they were five and two last year in the uh, round robin. Then they went to the crossover, lost all four, but three of them, three of them went right down the last shot. They believe, they truly believe. This Jennifer Jones isn't going to uh, scare them whatsoever. No, and they put the work in, Russ. You know, I, they played a ton more last year, which I thought was awesome. And then they dialed it back this year, and they're practicing a lot more this year, and they feel so confident with that. Well, let's check the keys to the game as we always do, and we'll start with Manitoba. Well, for Jennifer, the key here is uh, make Suzanne Burt draw. As we talked in the opening, 59%. She's not figuring out the path. It's a little quicker out wide, a little slower in the middle. It hasn't figured it out yet. And a new Don. We've said this one before, but that's Don McEwen. Don McEwen is absolutely, I think, the very best lead that's ever played this game in the women's sport. It's Lisa Weagle replaces her this week. She's number one. And now the keys for Suzanne Burton, PEI. Well, forcing your opponent to a single when they have a hammer is a key way to limit the points that they put on the board. Jones does it 46% of the time. Burt does it 21% of the time. And she's going to have to need to move that number up against Jennifer Jones, who's all out offense. And Caddy, I talked about in the opening, her team can help Suzanne read the pass, feel what drawways like, get that confidence back that she needs, and she'll start making those draws. Keys to the game are brought to you by sponge towels. Nothing absorbs like it. It's an aggressive move right there for PI, isn't it? Just ignore the uh, opponent's rock, throw up the corner. Yeah, I, thought, I thought for sure we're going up and down the street. Yeah, yeah, I did too. Really did. Yeah. Running like it's heavy. We're just tight. Nice and tight. And yet, you know, the skips, you just. You're thinking all the time, you're like, oh, oh maybe hard she's not scared hard, hard. of me. Maybe, you know, <laughs> you, you're trying to figure <laughs> yeah, out yeah, what yeah, their yeah, game yeah, plan yeah, is. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, your yeah, strategy is yeah, based yeah. on what they might do okay. sometimes. Good. Now you kind of know what they <laughs> might do. had the right idea catch the top oh, may just have caught it you know earlier Kathy as we say good afternoon to you pardon me you know this week we heard Victor Shell the head coach of this team Manitoba come out and talk to them and say you know what there's no excitement there's no enthusiasm here you got to pick it up have they well Caitlin Laws says that that's a real struggle for them because this event and the big events that's what they play for, the crowds, the energy that they get off of it. And so hearing Victor loud and clear, what they've decided is that they need to celebrate little things. So she said, don't be surprised if you see us throw our hands over our head when Lisa makes the draw. Not because it's so unusual, just because we need to get going. Yeah, they may be, and there is Victor, the former uh, world champion, playing with Nicholas Adine, now makes his home in the uh, Toronto area. Uh, yeah, there are some teams that are, are, how do I put it, will draw off a crowd more than others. Some will be intimidated by the crowd. Some feed on it. And I think the Manitoba and Jones team are one of those. Yeah, you know, and it's funny. I did talk to Suzanne about that before this event, and she said it, it won't bother us that there aren't crowds there. We're fine with right. that. Yet a Jennifer Jones is that exact mirror where it will. They, they do need that energy. But then maybe you can push it internally amongst themselves, as Kathy said, try and celebrate mm -hmm. the little things. Right. You can uh, understand why Victor brought it up. He would have played his national championship 
with his parents watching probably they wouldn't have very many people there in the crowd and the European teams uh, that's what they love when they come over here yep. well and there's so much value in the coaching role because sometimes you don't even see it from inside the team but you can really see it from outside that you're flat nice Caitlin nice shot picked it clean that wasn't easy yeah, the uh, was showing off her diamond ring on her uh, on her finger to, today was uh, Peyton Laws, newly engaged, fiance Stefan Vigé, who was playing hockey in Europe, but she was telling me today they he's become a, a Western Canada scout for the LA Kings. Mm -hmm. oh, excellent. excellent. Yeah. It's nice for her, not so much travel. She was going back and forth and. Yeah. Got engaged on their on her birthday back in December. You get this around your shot stone because of where the corner guard is over the Manitoba stone on the left as we're coming into the screen. Here, come on that. Great brushing to get that in the rings. Key lines ideal, like just above T. You know, again, it comes back and some of this may seem simple, yep. but as you say, if Suzanne is going to take the game to her and, and play away from what in effect is the shot stone over there, she's got to now expect Manitoba to come down and put that pressure back. So you have to be prepared of your PEI to respond to it. You do. And I, you know what, what I think allowed this end to be a little bit more aggressive by PEI and not started off so defensive was Suzanne made a great draw in the yep, pregame yep. uh, last known draw. So yep, that yep, makes yep, a big yep, difference yep. to her. Good. Good. Really nice, nice. Caitlin. Then you feel confident right away out of the gate and you can call Good a draw. different really style nice. of right game. Here. Yes. Good start. She's not afraid to draw against three or four in the first end because she's what saying. she's already done. No, I didn't hear. The unfortunate part for PEI is Caitlin Laws. <laughs> Two perfect shots. Look at that. Speaks to the curl in the ice, too. You oh, it's perfect. Buried around a, a top 12 foot stone. Back four. Back four. Back four. Try and sit in the corner. Back eight. Coming down. Back eight. Top four. Full four. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. Really nice shot. I knew it would come down when it went. Yeah. Yeah. The baby getting low, hey? Right. Oh, yeah. I don't mind trying to get to those. Okay. Here, the path. Yep. Just that little bump gives uh, Jennifer a chance here. If it had stayed on the corner, I don't think you could have uh, oh, yeah. removed it. Uh, yeah. Solid hack. Okay. If I can get to those. Yeah. I think this will throw more than yours, Joss. Yeah, kind of rode the line. Yeah. You could throw a bullet, Cheryl, and hit half of it and roll everything out of there, but then because PI has one in the rings, they can hit the one on the other side and still score there, too. No, it's nice here. Skip stones here in one. And it is Prince Edward Island that does have last rock. Nothing yet from oh, go, Peterman on the left. Yeah, go, Weagle on the right. Now trying to help it over is Jocelyn. Hard, Josh, hard. Trying to catch it. No oh, one got to it, but stuffed it. And so it will sit for shot stone PEI, just back edge of the four. It's not bad. You've got, she kept her shooter in the rings. You've got three red in there. Like if you'd hit that roll way over towards that other red, maybe yeah, bring it into play with a double in your last one, you score three. Looks good. Right here? Yep, you got it, Suzanne. Yeah, this is a big shot, Russ, to get the roll because you don't roll far, far enough, you've got a pretty routine double. Right. Taking a ton of ice. What do you, do you think they're trying to roll like back four maybe to okay. uh, keep them the same and, distance? Uh, Roll it to the center Looks line. Yep. Oh, oh center, center line. Okay. Interesting. Got it. Prince Edward Island was one of the few provinces or territories to have a, a play down. And uh, 
Burt was a winner over Darlene London of Montague in three straight games. They played that in O'Leary at the Maple Leaf Club. And so for her, this is a 12th appearance. Went five and six yes. last year in Moose Jaw. Stuffed it. 11-3. Yeah, once they knew at the end it was going to stuff, yeah. they uh, probably get off it a little sooner and try to roll the yellow and buried. Or do we ever just chase it? We could. We're second or third. Like just guarding this? Sure. We could chase. It. We could. Yeah, you have most of it for the and chase, it but four. yeah, you know, like here. I don't think the chase does us a whole lot. Okay. We were in that line. Yeah. You want to be in? Like, okay. tight is fine. Okay. Yeah, I think we want to make sure and then we can finish it. There? Yeah, I like that. Jennifer talked about the opportunity to play a couple events yeah. with Lisa this year, which is huge when you have a new player coming onto the team. but. And she was really raving about her Jen? professionalism as a, a lead and how easy it felt after the yeah, first event. Like Mac, like she right? just knows it what does. her role is. She put gives input when she's left. asked. She gives input when she feels like she yeah, should. So it's been pretty line. seamless. No, I know. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Yeah, we can probably finish it a bit too for you. I think that's enough, isn't it? Yeah, I like it, Jen. Not a simple shot, but ever over curls, there's a tap for two. You don't want to cue up the red double either. Yep, keep it out there. Waves close, Where really tight. Top again. 12. Yeah, guys, good. Top 12. Well then, clean it. Well for top 12. We're top 12. Oh. Top eight. Oh well then. Stay with the jaws. Okay, yep, yep. Well, let it sit. Yep. Finish? Yep. Oh. Hard. Hard. Oh, just that little rub off. It's there. It's like. Without moving that yellow, which is beside it, huh? Mm hmm. You could, well, you can get just slightly high side. Okay. Yeah. Clip the back run. Yeah, where you Russ's arrow is, clip the back one, and you'll roll a little bit to the left, sit yeah. your deuce. So slightly different path, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Control? Oh, normal? It's the only way to play it. You can't play it across normal the face. Eight. Okay. Take yeah. the double. And yeah, probably okay. not. Roll it to the center. Yeah. You could probably make the it. double, but you might lose Kick your... the one. Yeah, yeah. That, that top uh, eight-foot stone of yours. Right. I kind of know this area now. The, the, always the hard part I find is they're starting to wear the spot down. So will you get as much curl as you're guessing? Good normal. Lean you. Good Final up. stone. Lean Prince you. Edward Lean Island, Lean Suzanne Lean Bird has a chance to get herself Lean out of Lean. some trouble here. Shell McQuay, bang, touch it. Oh, there's a catcher and it'll roll inside and she'll get her deuce. There's a snurly smile. PEI with an early lead. Our game is on one of the uh, side sheets here in this Olympic size facility at uh, Windsport. We're on sheet D for our feature this afternoon on a Wednesday afternoon. Prince Edward Island and Manitoba. And uh, PEI opens with a couple. And Manitoba with Last Rock playing the Redstones here in two. Let's take a look at all the uh, the games on the ice. Quebec coming off a loss last night, but still at four and two. Very impressive so far against Sarah Hill from St. John's. Saskatchewan picked up that big win last night over Quebec uh, against the uh, Chelsea Carey, Tracy Fleury team out of East St. Paul. And uh, British Columbia, Corinne Brown has won three straight after dropping two and uh, New Brunswick is making a bit of a run now coming in at two and three. So eight of the nine teams are still alive in the 
B pool. The team idol today is Nunavut and Lori Eddy, who have been eliminated. They have are winless in six. Sorry. You have all of it? It's a good throw by Lisa. I, I love that call. If you can get access to shot stone when they play that come around, play it. You know, a lot of times you'll see teams, they could also go to the wings, but you might as well open up that scoring yeah. area early. You right. might roll in behind your corner on top Good of it. Control. Yeah, to your point, so what's the danger here like for Jennifer to be line. aggressive? Okay. She's got the ocean to draw to. Yes. Right. And that center so. guard, because we've talked about how th they're tough this week, is if you are deep on them, they overcurl. If you're high like that one, you can get around to anything behind that. Mm -hmm. So it's effectively, there isn't a center guard there. Back eight. I think you need that, yeah. Room. Do that, yellow. Yeah, good just shot. a little bounce, a little separation now. Shot rock, however, for Manitoba. Judge. Nice judgment. Hey, I can probably get to the inside, but... Well, let's start our updates on this Wednesday with a BC, Corinne Brown against New Brunswick and Melissa Adams. Well, Corinne had to make a really good shot on her first one. There were two yellow stones belonging to New Brunswick in the forefoot. She played a double tap, was able to tap one back, but left... New Brunswick lying one and then not able to make her second. So this is a draw for two, but needs full four. New Brunswick, Melissa Adams out of the Capital Winter Club in Fredericton. New Brunswick with just one Canadian Women's Curling Championship. That was back in 1963 in the great Mabel Dewar. And that's a lovely draw for two. This team starting to, to show signs of life, New Brunswick. Well, that's the old story there, isn't it? They just come out and donate for a while and uh, li uh, Melissa's a wonderful drawer and they just didn't have the touch early. That's so much more curl than they're used to, so much faster underfoot. And now they're figuring it out. One thing we've heard uh, in talking with some of the players throughout the event is that because of the lack of preparation for many of the teams, you're going to get uncharacteristic mistakes from people you wouldn't think for example, like, you know, Marie Christensen III today for PEI saying, we're seeing people make these mistakes. That's when you have to jump on them. That's why you can beat in Ontario because they'll make that mistake they don't usually make, for example. It's like the early season mistakes. Anderson against Fleury on sheet B, and uh, that wild card team is the uh, team of Tracy Fleury with Chelsea Carey throwing the last stone, and here's her last against Saskatchewan and Sherry Anderson. Well, has an opportunity for two. She had split the house, and on her final stone, Sherry Anderson hit but rolled out. There is a stone at the back 12 belonging to Team Fleury, so she does need full 12, bite of the eight for two. 13. Good. And away it goes. And a good start. They had a 1-3 in a row, looking very promising, then coughed up a couple, but then uh, snapped that losing streak yesterday. So four and two coming in. Trying to roll. Runs it by though, avoids the jam. Be quiet if anything. Oh yeah, 10-1, good. <laughs> good, good throw. Thanks. Came up a little. Yeah. Quebec, <laughs> Newfoundland and Labrador. Uh, Quebec there, so Laurie Saint-Georges. She does have the last rock against Sarah Hill from the Remax Center in St. John's. Yeah, thick, huh? Yeah. yeah. There we got him. You know, Marie was saying, you may have heard if you were with us right from the beginning, Suzanne Bird said, our goal is to be on the top of the podium. 
Uh, sometimes you think, okay, well, everybody says that coming in. Whether you realistically have a chance or not, that's another story. But they truly believe they have worked, used the pandemic to their benefit. They have been on the ice. That maritime Atlantic bubble, they did play in some spiels down in the, uh, in the Maritimes, in Nova Scotia in particular. So they think they are more prepared. Yeah, in both of those spiels, Vic, they lost the final. So I think they lost to brothers in one and I think black to yeah. in the other. So they had success also on top of it. No one, you take that and add to it the Zoom calls and, and the analytics that they worked on. It, it, I think there's going to be some teams that come out of this year and do that more so going forward. Right. You know, a lot of the teams talk about the season gets so busy, you never do really analyze anything. What's working, what's not working. and. So that's a good opportunity, and most of the teams had it this year if they used it wisely. Really gotta go. Oh, Trying gotta to hang go. around here. Oh, oh. Roll it. Big roll. Watch out oh. now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Another good throw. Shoot. Shot. Yeah, get this straighter each time. Get there. That's uh, that's exactly it. Uh, they don't wear down the middle, so it uh, curled more than they thought, and then it got a little bit straighter, a little bit straighter, a little bit straighter every shot. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. The double's too flat, isn't it? I think so. I think so. But you're rolling over to the corner? Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. think you can throw it hard enough and hit enough of it with that guard in the way, Vic, to, uh, to make the double. I, I assume they're going to roll that direction. Suzanne can throw it hard. Oh, yeah. That's pretty flat. The calf, she said? Yeah. Okay. Well, they must be Got trying it. it. Well, after the blank... It looks as if uh, Newfoundland and Labrador have, uh, or no, pardon me, it's mm -hmm. two. So it's a, a chance for three here for Saint-Georges. It is. That stone that is behind the tee line was the first rock thrown by Lottie Saint-Georges. But on Sarah Hill's attempt to freeze two, it went right through the house. And so all she needs is full 12. Oh, crash on the guard. Look out, and it'll get through. Good sweep, guys. What's the danger with that Great. shot? It, uh, Good you, you can't bail your team out here because you don't have a hammer. And there's the three for uh, Quebec. Good start for them. You know, Quebec, yeah, as as they they've gotten they close. The they've won a championship. It was Lee Tobin yeah. back in 1975, won a Canadian Women's Championship for Quebec. But since then, uh, the closest they've gotten was uh, Marie-France LaRouche. Mm -hmm. Lost to Colleen Jones back in 2004. Do you want to be just behind T-Line? Ideally, like, there's no double, but if we're a quarter tax, you won't have a double anyway, so. Okay. Speed's good, I think, here, eh? Looks good all around. Yeah. Good. Just bite eight foot, sit three. Tuck it around that corner a bit. Laws out. Peterman drops away. And around they go. But uh, they are sitting, I guess, second, uh, their third shot. Jen doesn't throw as much rotation as some of the others on the ice, and I think sometimes she gets yeah. a bit caught with, you know, that'll take off. It'll curl a little bit more with less rotation. Hey. She does that by design to mm -hmm. get around and bury and make those little soft come arounds, but you're right. You can certainly get caught on the surface by doing that. Isn't it interesting that that young uh, Zacharias team throws too much? They throw a lot. Right? And uh, yeah. they just might want to look at somebody like uh, Jennifer Jones and find the the balance or having the ability to change it based on the ice surface that's that's an art there's teams that work on that they can throw three rotations four rotations whatever is needed to get the curl or hold the rock straight yep. Yep. right out of her hand whoa, again whoa, picked up whoa, McQuaid whoa, whoa. and Hughes whoa, yep. this front yeah. end have been together now for five years whoa. and roll it over got it on the corner this time sure enough do Just maybe, oh, so maybe not quite enough on the corner, at least a little higher, huh? So close. 
Such a flat double, and she hit it actually in the perfect spot. I guess a hair thinner would have sat too, but or a hair harder if that's possible. She didn't have to completely remove it either. No, just another inch or so. Great try. Stone has no, a chance no. for a couple. Got a lick. Nothing. On its own. Look out. Oh, and touched it. And it is only the one for Manitoba. Had a chance. Missed opportunity to be sure for Manitoba. It was there, settling now for the single. PEI has the lead and also has the last rock. And we welcome you back on this Wednesday afternoon. This is draw 14, all the games from group B. Center line guard goes up around they came PEI and then Lisa Weagle with her uh, second is that stone now top okay. four. I think you need okay good. Three Sassy. really good yeah. opening rocks here. Like but there is a bit of an See, angle here for 16? Prince Edward yeah, Island. Like Maybe a little board weeder here in sit two. Tick the guard's not terrible either. Michelle yeah. McQuaid. As mentioned, she and Megan Hughes have been together now for five years. Yep, 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 Megan, Megan, Megan. Wow. Well, that's not even hack. No. And now that little rub may just help them a little bit because it'll stop. Top 12. If they were on this oh, sheet before, like that guard? could play a little bit oh. in your mind because that was a like straight spot. And you start, you yeah. bring the weight down and you try to be really careful on the release okay, and the nice combination here. allows it to curl. Notice that this morning too, there's way more curl at the center. It's excellent. You got to get off. Almost top, eight. Four. top four. Coming down. Top eight. No, no, Lisa, anywhere okay. high. Like we're, it's not. Okay. Okay, Joss. Mm, double Love. opportunity. He did. That's why Jem is yeah. like okay. anywhere high, high, the higher, yeah. the tougher the double, but. <laughs> Well, we want to acknowledge a couple of people yeah. who are longtime viewers, longtime fans. That gentleman right there on the end, that is Mr. George Barker. He's from Wilmot, Nova Scotia, turns 100. And uh, that's his brother, Allie, the younger brother next to him. So we, <laughs> we wish Mr. Barker, uh, Wilmot is uh, close to the Bay of Fundy in Nova Scotia. So we wish him all the very best. Stay with it. Stop it. Just clean. Stay with it. Small time. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard, Caitlin. Go, 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 go. Okay, good. 
Nice judge, Caitlin. And also yeah. this lady <laughs> turning 100 from Burton, Manitoba, Lorraine Thompson. And uh, you can see at the bottom, her son, John, puts the TV on and she never changes it. <laughs> so uh, we wish you and Mr. Barker all the very, very best. Both of them turning 100. The things they've seen most certainly this year. Yeah, no kidding. Little big. We're a little big. Close, oh. Three. 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 Yep, go, Marie. Hard, 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 hard. Trying to get the roll and stick around. Okay, that's good. And also a birthday. Yeah, the man right in the middle. A longtime flame, Mike Vernon. Turns 58 today, the goaltender, and we, we threw something at it, and uh, he didn't stop it. It just <laughs> right, it went right by. So. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mike. That's awesome. Clean it, clean. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. That's clean. Whoa, off, 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 off. Whoa. Okay, okay. Nine and a half. How do you get that red one that's buried frozen? Can you jiggle it? Okay, around everything. Yeah, I like that. You're not going to even try. I'm just going to right round everything. Not a lot of room to aim at, but. No, you've got a small scoring area for your deuce, but I'm, I'm with you, Russ. I don't know a lot of other options with it. I guess you could try and unlock it, but you might give. Manitoba an opportunity to lock one in there and True. never get it. Okay, you won't score at all. Eight. Close. Top eight. Gotta go a little. Nope. Go a bit, girls. Megan draw. Team. Should be a very Megan keen path running. here. That's basically Megan. the practice path. Megan. Look at it go. Wait only, girls. Whoa. Sit. Uh, just Sit. that little right, bit Marie. back of the pinhole. Well, let's go back to uh, BC. That's Corinne Brown from MacArthur Island. Kamloops against Melissa Adams, Capital Winter Club, Fredericton. Well, you saw from that it is two that she faces. What you didn't see is that there is a guard, and so this is not an easy shot. She's trying to throw about a hack weight to get to the face as much as she can. There's that guard I was talking about. And another one, and got to hold that shooter now. A little spin away, and that one right there, that yellow, is another steal of one for New Brunswick. Is Caitlin trying to follow this rock down? Hard for line, Josh. Hard for line. Just freeze on it. It's perfect. <laughs> Saskatchewan replied with a single in the second. So it's still the uh, wild card number one that leads going to three. Peel or, yeah. Can we run into the side of the red even? <laughs> okay. Got a straight peel? Straight peel. Yeah. Couple of great come around freezes by Team Manitoba. Switching gears, trying to open it up. You just have to know when the angles are not good. Some teams just keep pushing and they end up giving up a steal this end. Mm -hmm. You might get a good chance here. Don't know what that Perfect job by Caitlin. Yeah. I, I guess we have them. Yeah, again, it goes back to that opportunity, yeah, right? She comes, like of course, with that first, that Yellowstone. If it's up here, above, but it's just back of that pinhole and... and yeah. Caitlin Laws takes advantage. Yeah, and, and really only a slight error. Angles if we could hit. Yeah, hopefully. This, if we could hit this yellow one in the eighth bush. Speed's good. Jen. Yeah. Yeah, Suzanne's under her breath trying to, if you get all that yellow one at the top eight, as much as you could when it's her turn, you, you, can, you can definitely get that red one out of there. You might lose one of the yellows. But. I think it's a little less. 
Doesn't even have to be anything on the red. Okay, a corner guard. Okay. Are we coming right in, Cheryl? I think so. Probably with the thought that your error could be light. Mm -hmm. Line's good, athlete! Manitoba has won the Canadian Women's Championship 11 times, and the most recent was a year ago. Carrie Anderson. Now here's Team Canada. It's over Keep curling on them. Hard! Easy. Yep. Hard! Well, they were taking that away from yeah, that, So <laughs> she saw it too. Yeah, maybe she didn't whisper. She was too loud on her whispering. Good <laughs> Sarah, Jennifer, that was further than I We heard you. Too, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there again, it's, you haven't played yeah, I've, in I've a year, a long time. Yeah. You're not whispering properly yeah, anymore. Work, work, work on the whispering. Very loud. That wasn't my inside voice. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer's good at that too. Most teams would throw the guard with the other turn. And it's getting so nice and swingy there that you have to go at it with the opposite turn. Nice play. How much of that can they see? Like just with draw weight. Like I know, just unlock it. Yeah. No. Well, I, I just what am I seeing there? One red on the pin that would belong to Quebec. It does, and she guarded on her final stone. Sarah tried the run back, that long yellow guard on the first one, and left the guard there but missed everything. So now she's playing the in off on that yellow stone out in the wings to try to score two. Sarah Hill. Yep, yep. The 25 year old. Newfoundland Labrador skip from the St. John's Power! Curling Club, the Remax Center in St. John's. Still in the mix, coming across. Oh, move it. Oh, and now that one's, oh, there she got a break. Has that hill stolen the top. <laughs> Still spins, a good shot to get one. Spins back. Change their mind. They're going to tap it, unlock the it. yellow, so the red's available with the last one. But you just know Jennifer's going to guard it. So now they're going to throw a rocket, try to hit it as thin as they can, and kick that red one sideways, losing the yellow, losing the shooter. But then the shot rock buried. It's got to be really thin. Oh, can't see much of it. Hit what you can see. Suzanne Burt. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Now they got her, picked her up, picked her up, got her, squeezes it. Ooh, not quite. And so that still leaves the Manitoba Stone shot rock T line, edge of the four, and covered. No, so line actually is pretty important. Well, it gave her a little more room if there was any positive in it. That was a tough shot. Oh, she hit up. what she could see almost. Might have had to curl up just a touch more, and you could have sprung it a little bit more to the left. But you're probably calling brushing, and there's air. Like, it wasn't going to hit Endling halfway down, so they had to make Not sure they made some noise. Yes. Yeah, if you need to get buried, but we also can't rub, so okay. I'd rather... Uh, Ideal is like top, top four. Yeah. Top four? Okay. Or full four. Okay. Hey, Jen. Yeah, the rub to Jennifer's point could bring in, if it rubs off, it could bring in a double for two. And if you don't bury, there could be also a double. Lion's good. We close. Lion's good. Yes. Chen Jones in her last here in three. And again, that front end is just. Can you nibble the back four? I think it's out there. for a okay. walk. Oh. Okay. Wow. That's the second time in the game. Yes. It's a bit better than draw, eh? Yeah. Draw the button. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't think that would be heavy. My fault. I like the draw, I think. Thank you for you. Yep, you got her, Suzanne. Same as draw the button. I think that's what's happened. Uh, we talked about it in the opening how Jennifer, you know, she she had to get by and she had to bury. That's, that's in a small uh, piece of real estate. And if the ice isn't dead perfect, you're just not going to make every one of those. And 
That's what's cost her. Right. right now the ice is perfect, to be honest, but um, yeah. she just yeah. overthrew it. Okay, four or five. Just going to draw for their one. Yeah, I think so. But the ankle raise is pretty easy, but it's still for one, I think. Well, she, you think you could tap it and roll in? Yeah. Close, but... Yeah, even her overall percentage. You can see the struggles on draws. Her. She's 13th in the field when it comes to her overall percentage, and her high game is only 70 so far. Line's good. Line's really good. Take a left. Take a left. Line's perfect. Right on the tee. Great judge, girls. Yeah, this uh, front end has really gotten good, Hughes. It McQuay to the to the point where it's almost telepathic. They just instinctively know it's a sign of a good front end. PEI picks up one more. Here at the Wind Sport Arena, all part of Canada's Olympic Park. On this Wednesday afternoon, our featured game of the Scotties, Manitoba against PEI. Wonderful draw. By Suzanne Burt. After uh, Manitoba, Jennifer Jones went a little heavy. So it's a 3 1 lead for PEI Manitoba now with Last Rock playing the Redstones. Top four. Yeah. Top four. Should be nice speed here. Like yeah, 15 3 on that one. So oh, the top really? 12 are tight. Do it now. Two uh, two cards by PI. Perfect corner by Lisa. Hey, I'm trying to loop line, around both line, yellows here. You got no line. Just leave a guard. We're wide open. We're top eight. You can't go that deep yet. Okay, you go, Caitlin. Go. Finish, Caitlin. Go, 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 go. There go. Yep. Yep. Go. Yep. Yep. yep, yep. Right, late, yep, late, late, go, late go, finish. Go, 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 go. And finish, around finish. they go. Goodness. It is, Vic, because just before the hog line, they're saying it's wide open, you can't go, and then it just walks. Well, we talked about uh, Suzanne Burt and her struggles with her draw weight, but when she needed it most, she found it here in the third. Uh, and I think it really is her team because they're not struggling with draw weight. They've had the feel out there, and I'm sure there's more conversations. That and the fact that she made a really great draw for to get Hammer probably gives you that confidence that she's making these now. He shot resulted in a single, and it's brought to you by BKT Tires. Growing together. Don't want to hook it, and they're going to. Okay, I threw this. Yeah. Top four, T line. line. Yeah. Wider line. Oh. It's an interesting situation because Jennifer's Mine's splitting good. the ring. She's going to Mine's utilize good. the corner guard Mine's that Lisa good. threw and sit her two. She's got a hammer, but Mine's look at the okay. congestion Mine's down the down. middle. Right here is ideal. Okay, and I see an opportunity if you get forced to it by Prince Edward Island to play an outturn draw around everything. For sure. Yeah, a little bit. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Really nice. So job. basically, come down that good side down. where it says yeah. cashmere. Is that mm -hmm. what you're saying? Exactly. <laughs> if they have to. I mean, with the score right now, they're going to try and. <laughs> Eliminate some stones if they can, but if they get yeah. forced to it. What? Go right around. <laughs> here. Okay. Freeze it back here. Okay, whichever you like. See here. Okay. Half in the eight. Okay. okay. So if I just good positive throw, I think that's yeah. same. And get out there. Nice and positive. You're kind of committed, like unless you make the triple peel and you're still leaving one rock up there. I just. just Sorry, Russ, I just wonder if they can hold the line on this. Yes, true. Around the corner, you mean? Yeah, Bobby, right. You know how hard Lisa's curled Where? in there. It has Bobby. been straight Where? here, but as, as you and I have noticed, it's there's way more curl to the center now. Going all the way around. A little Keep rub. Going. Now, is there any finish in it? And no, it'll settle. Center line back edge of the button. 
They didn't quite commit soon enough to, to for the audible. Well, this all began, of course, last Friday night, and that was a big win for them. They, they literally stole that out of the pocket of Sherry Anderson, then a win. They anyway, made three and one loss then last evening to uh, Team Flurry and Chelsea Carey. That snapped Carey's two game losing slide. So they come in with their three wins. You couldn't rule <laughs> left as we were looking at it because that just would set up for Suzanne and team to play the come around and freeze on top. So great yeah, rule. Ten? Did she call 10? Yeah. yeah. Dangerous, dangerous situation. They, not only are they looking at three, but they, they've got four tries to bury one, really. Or they're going to give up a bundle. Normal! Marie Christensen. Yeah. Get it by that one. They do hold it there. And where's the roll? And again, back center line, back button. Tremendous effort. Yeah. Did you get that, Suzanne? What? Did you get that? Nine, nine. Nine? Nine, nine. Oh. They need more ice. Let's throw more ice. Less of mine. Yeah. Peterman quickly got her. Hard! Gotta go, right to it. Never off. Never off. Hard, 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 hard. Get across the nose a little hard. bit. No, they'll leave it there. Good call, Jen. Which way? What weight, what weight do you want me to play? Normal? Okay. I can probably do this turn with normal. Boy, it's going begging, isn't it? I mean, if you can just get that roll behind that pile of stones. Yeah. Well, they, they have to, Vic, or it's going to be trouble. All because of that hooked come around, eh? <laughs> One shot by PEI. Make a big difference. Marie Christensen will now give it a go. So close on her last one. Michelle McQuaid. Now you got this at this time. Bang. Oh, oh, now too thin and away it'll go. Go here. I think we have to. I think we have to because I think she's I think so. Okay. Agreed. You always have to think what's the other guy going to do. Manitoba in that big bunch of uh, two lost teams. They've just really been back and forth. Lost to Saskatchewan the other night in Sherry Anderson and squeaked out a win over Newfoundland and Labrador to sit at three and two. That, uh, that win over Quebec on the uh, opening night. And then uh, Quebec rattled off four straight after that. Just impressive. Go back 12. Go back 12. Go back 12. Pass up. On the straight. Go back 12 on the straight. I don't care if it's out, Jocelyn. Get it back there. <laughs> Keep going. Hard. Okay. Veteran call. I thought yeah. I needed to add. You have to quit hoping for the shot to yeah. turn out. You have to turn it I into something. Yeah. A little better and a better pass. Yeah. Or don't leave something. Now, now it's tougher. Now Suzanne has to be, you know, T line or at least get shot. If you give her backing, a lot more room for error on the throw. Oh, this will curl in there though. Okay, right around everything. Yeah. You're probably gonna have to be like back four to yeah. be yeah. Okay. under completely, but you're not. Uh, Same path as practice. You're not into your wide out turn yet, okay. huh? No, or for her, it would be a wide intern. Yeah, exactly. I, I think the reason is they haven't played it. They've seen this. It would be a guess just going out there now. Okay. This will curl enough to do it. Would you would you be tempted to even go to the back one, Cheryl? I'll eliminate two of those reds. You're up to nothing, two points here. And I think 
they've talked about going to back four because they need to get that extra yeah. depth to right. get it to curl. So even, you're right, if you take it to that back one, that wouldn't hurt either. Yeah, back eight is a, is a good audible. Mm -hmm. uh, top four. Hey, Megan, Dave. Megan. 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 Hughes helped this Hard, over. Gets Megan. by that guard. Hard, Megan. Go, 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 go. Or can they tuck something Hard, underneath? Sweet Megan. Back again, back button. They had to wait. That corner guard was a bother for the longest time. Is it ever? That's Suzanne's, to your point, Vic, that's Suzanne's out turn. So it can run straighter than everybody else's in turn, which is typical. Well, here we go uh, again, uh, Kathy. Uh, it's Brown, BC against New Brunswick and Adams. Well, it has been all New Brunswick in this end. Lying three, this looks like. I think she's playing a soft weight. Needs to stick it, though. Out of the uh, MacArthur Island Curling Club in Cam Loops. Oh, my goodness. And misses everything. That's three more. Some days you just want to start all over. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keeps letting them off the hook, but they're piling up. <laughs> well, heavy. Scary for PEI. Good throw. Good yeah, they made the uh, commitment really early that they were going to go around that center there. guard, yeah. and they're down at their last try. Same shot, Charlene. You know it. Exact same shot. Two feet heavier than their last one. She's perfect. Saskatchewan against the team wildcard and uh, Sherry Anderson coming up with her last. And this is the oh, third. Oh, no, sorry, Chelsea Carey. Chelsea Carey. This is the third consecutive shot in this spot, each replacing no, no. each other. So for Chelsea, should know the line. She's thrown this on her first. Got it by that one. Got it by this one. Needs to stick in the four. Oh, and we'll spill too far. Look at that. So steal of two for Anderson and the lead. Two red. Two red. Wow. Second chance. Now remember on her first one that that red guard is covering the very edge of the eight foot was in play a long, long time. And now they've got her, McQuaid and Hughes. Boy, they gotta go this time and they're not even flirting with it. And they get this down in the corner. Uh, it's gonna be disaster. Well, actually. <laughs> well, you know what, you're right. Look at that. They got it there enough to become second shot at the moment. Four Good. inches lighter, Goodness. it was complete disaster. Wow. Good for them for not giving up on that. You could, you could easily just go, we've missed it completely. Yeah, exactly. Oh, goodness. Again, we talked to you, told you about how hard they have worked, McQuaid and Hughes, you know, to trust each other. Watching the stones has more than the watches, which is a big thing. Mm. Well, and they got the most out of that shot. <laughs> that was. That was five. Yes, yes. So now you've got your opportunity. A little bit for line. Manitoba. Line's good. Okay. Eight Full eight. eight. Line's good. Full eight. Curling. Top four. Hard. You gotta go. Hard, Josh. Peterman. Hard. We go. Oh, we don't want to give this away. Keep it going. Good judgment there. Good pair. And adjustments to be sure for Peterman. Now working with Weagle. They'll drag it for a couple, and we're all tied. It's the time of the week when you uh, check the standings, pool standings. There's a real mess in Pool B. 
Kathy's uh, ears just perked up when I said miss. And, uh, that's <laughs> not, 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 right, not right now. Wait for it. I'm looking for my update. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have uh, eight of the nine teams still alive, remembering, of course, that the top four will advance to the championship pool. And this year, no page playoff. After you cross over, it'll only be the top three that go to the playoffs and uh, play for the title. And the leading team, first place team, will get a direct bye to the final. We're tied at three in our featured game, Manitoba against Prince Edward Island. And PEI, the team from the Montague and Cornwall Curling Clubs with Last Rock playing the Yellow Stones. Okay, okay. That worked pretty good. I said to you in the break, I thought they were dead, but they managed to pull that stone just, just enough to leave the draw for two. And buried. Yeah, great yeah, brushing there. They're both tough. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah. That one's a bit longer. Do you want to throw well, another I think it's dart? A bit harder. I think this one's easier. I don't either. I gotta deal with it. Sorry. Can't hear you. What are you thinking? I think the out turn, just because that one's so high and it just busts for so long. Yeah. Like to get by that. Or do we just throw another dart? Or another long one is. And then she peels. Caitlin and we'll was thinking. Have a better chance. Yeah. 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 Okay, throw another one. Okay. Well, we know that if you can get to a fifth win, that will guarantee you at least a tiebreaker. And uh, Quebec with four so far, playing Newfoundland and Labrador. Last rock on the way, Laurie St. George. Well, she's got another chance for three after Sarah Hill was trying to play a draw around on her final stone, and it came up light. And there it is, three more, and up now six to one, the Quebec team from the Laval, Sur le Lac, and the Glenmore Club in uh, the La des Ormeaux, both in the greater Montreal area. Yeah, for sure. Good judge. Hey. Three quarters? To hair high, seven eighths. Got all the guards you need okay, in the corners. Just get rid of the two in the middle now. Yep. And there's an angle on the two in the center, so it allows you to make the double roll away and try to stack them. Oh, what do we see in there? Couple of, uh, couple of Saskatchewan stones. Indeed, Sherry Anderson hit on her final stone to lie to. Chelsea had tried to freeze, but bounced off and was open for Sherry. So it is two that she faces. This is the forefoot. No, it is not. This is the draw to the forefoot <laughs> for against the two. And again, if you uh, should be just joining us, uh, Tracy Fleury. This is her team, one of the wild cards, but she. Uh, has elected to stay home, and so Chelsea Carey, yes. the two-time Canadian champion, yes. is in to skip this yes. team. Good job, guys. And to the back four she goes. Won their uh, first three games, setting things on fire, and then they just stubbed their toes a couple of times. BC I'd have to throw hack, I think. on the board finally after giving up the six and uh, okay, New Brunswick, Melissa Adams with Last Rock okay. playing five yeah, and in control I early. That's okay, right? Yeah, okay. Board's good. I really okay. like this we'll call. I agree with Suzanne. Out. The That's center line guard's five. long. It's yours, so if you tick it, not so bad, but really good chance if you throw the right weight, you catch a bit of that red mm. and you roll behind those corners. Plenty of weight, didn't want to sweep it too much early. So error is the guard. Hard, Marie. Hard, 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 hard. You got it. Now hanging around. Close. 
coming back. Oh, really good try. It's out. Any lighter. <laughs> Just try. Bang, bang. So. Oh, rock on that. <laughs> yep. Top 12? I think so. Try and give you something to sweep. We had a really nice chat with uh, Caitlin Laws uh, prior to the game. And Line's good. Yep. Passed her away. Line's good. 12 foot. Some good thoughts right Turn away. Well, we, we're anything. just really excited and, you know, grateful to be here, which you've, you've heard from a lot of the teams. I think, you know, Kathy, we, we scratched a little bit deeper as we have a tendency. And <laughs> she just said that, you know, it's been nice to be home because it's put the game and life in perspective because so much of their life is curling. Uh, nice to be home. She got engaged, obviously, and there, she has her health. Family has their health. Yeah. yeah. But you, they, I think and Jennifer expressed it as well, and I think majority of curlers would say the same. They really, truly missed it because it is part of their life. It's who they are. And uh, from that perspective, that's why they're so great. Yeah, you, you almost define yourself by it. Back four, T. But I think Back the time away has done a lot for a lot of the players, I think from injury recovery perspective, but also renewed passion for the game. I mean, Jen even said she didn't know that she's ever taken the time to consider if she wanted to continue playing the game and after being away from it for this last year, she knows she does. Nice. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Christensen going around. Showing a little bit, would you ever think of coming through that hole or is this the yeah, play? You could on the other side, you could tap that out actually. Don't look at that time whatsoever. And, uh, <laughs> and Caitlin actually came up noticeably light. Yeah, I think she also made the perfect freeze last time there was one in that close to the button. I don't want to throw that line away, what uh, Christensen said to her front end. Don't even look at that time. We've heard that a few times this week as, as if the, 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 the times and the rock running don't correlate. Well, what it is for the thrower, I think, more so, is that they may come out and they may add. And so the time you get from backline to hog, if you're doing split times, won't be right because she added so much or she could pull off as well. So just the thrower being very self-aware on the release. All right, nice, nice. Oh, oh. Down on the corner. That's the second time uh, Caitlin's done that to PI. All right, here we go. Update time, St. George. Quebec against Newfoundland, Labrador, and Hill. And she's not giving her very many opportunities to score multiple points, it, yep. hitting and rolling on her final whoa, 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 stone. Whoa, 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 so facing whoa, whoa, two Lauren, needs a nose clean hit. Clean it, Lauren, Lauren, clean it. And one it is. Guys had a couple of chances to apply the pressure, and both times the come arounds are perfect, except a little deep. Just right, in a, then in comes Caitlin, and then you're in trouble. This way. Tough we to tap strong. it out with that intern like with the corner guard like in the way. We can freeze this way. I just we have to try to get to nose. Might have to double peel here. Just top eight is good. We have to yeah. try to cross it. Yeah. Okay. No bump pay on that. No. No. Just top. Top eight's okay. Top eight. Okay. If you'd cue it up on the left-hand side of the red one, like over curl here, which I think there's enough finish okay, to do got that. It, got it. Then you'd have an angle on the uh, left-hand side. Well, why don't you, Cheryl, play, if you're going to do that, to angle uh, it, why don't you play the intern at it? Uh, the port's too tight, Vic. There's a high yellow left guard there, and I don't think you can make it by. By the time you get by, you over curl. Okay. Well, they've yep. gotten it through and by, and now can you come up the other side? They don't reach, they don't, uh, reach the eight foot, and they've just lined up another guard. Close, though. You, you, a couple more feet of weight or a foot more mm -hmm. weight, that mm -hmm. comes out and guards that back okay. yellow. It'd be really hard, but... I don't think we can get here. No, I agree. I'm okay with it. And she picks the guard. Yeah, yeah. I just replace that guard. Yeah. 
That one's out for sure, eh? Check it out. Yeah. You have a catcher. But. I wonder if you could have just thrown a guard in the hole, Russ, if you were PEI. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, true, because you're a shot rock, right? Yeah. I wonder if that was the easier shot. It just, this was tough. No. She almost made it, though. Wait, we never, okay. never can, though. Okay. That's available rather flat for uh, than Suzanne. Though. How hard are you throwing, Jen? Not that Where it's a gimme, yeah, but okay. it's there. It's almost a natural half rock peel. And a big reward. That's why Jennifer's hitting this. These are curling a little more than at the start of the week. Yeah. Jennifer Jones. There's oh first. Jocelyn called yeah. off now through the hole they go. What do they got? And they'll pick it. Nice and they can't then. use that Sweet. catcher. Nice but they are the shot Good rock again. covered. Sitting top edge of the button. By making that, they can't give up more than a deuce. Right. You're good. Watch it. Good. Nice call, Caitlin. It was a well-thrown rock. So just like quarter and just roll it to the open. Take that to the open. T-line way. Yeah, I think. Yeah, back four. I think they're trying to tick the yellow one, yeah. Cheryl, so you can kick them both open. And I think that's the number. We're splitting it. Oh, okay. BC's got something going. Is it possible to get a blank out of this? Yeah, she could. There is some space between those two stones. Corinne had thrown a guard on her first. Melissa peeled it off, and then Corinne Brown went in again. There's the space. So she can. If she gets to the nose, it's shot, but if she hits half, everything could go. Don't know, safer play might be just on the nose. You're up 6-1, right? what it looks like she is going to get. Come on! Oh, oh, look out. Move them. We'll get rid of one. So over curls, and uh, it'll be BC with a steal of one. It, uh, it's funny because uh, yesterday, nice. Quebec third, Haley Armstrong, we know Laurie St. George loves to play aggressively, and she says she'd take the skip sometimes and say, look at the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe in a case like that, rather than go for the double, you're up 6-1, just take your single and walk away. It's, you, need, you need that individual on the team. Oh, very nice. That's a brilliant shot. Good one, that's good. That's good. The awareness too, you're aiming at a buried rock basically and then throw the soft weight and they, they, yes. what, what a skip's looking for with their last shot is to have an option. Two options would be even better and then the other team can't take them away. In theory, PI can make that for two and they can make that for two. It'll come up a because of that wonderful you, split. Nice, I think, yeah. So Jen's shot is a hit and roll to take the right one away. Yeah, even roll in for second shot, buried it would be probably the play. What a great shot. I know. That's your point, buried stone and you split it. Yeah. That's well, well, putting well, the brim yeah. down in the no. right spot, throwing the right weight. No! Jennifer Jones, Can't. her last. Nothing yet, nothing at all from... Peterman, are we a look okay. out? It'll slide underneath. Okay. It's there. Not easy. It just gives yeah, PI a chance to score, even, because yeah. that wasn't looking good what either if you don't make that split. This one. I think you might have to play the other turn, Suzanne. Yeah, it's gonna curl past the guard, and that's a high guard, and it's gonna. I think it's. You can only nose. I think of that ice. Okay. That turn. Agreed. We gotta curl it pretty good, then, eh? Yeah, it's there. So it's a high guard, so I feel like that just takes the guard out of the out of the shot for you. Oh, if you look at it. There's that too. Yeah. 
You have to take oh, a look, look at it uh, from uh, the skips and from the um, throwing end. Then you get a little better feel for what you have to do with those two it's yellow just guards. Getting to it easier? Probably not. It's just a hack yeah. waiter with uh, across the face. It is pretty much. I could throw hack. I'm just. I think you probably bored. Yeah. Change your mind here. Yeah, I, I don't. Yep. I don't think we're not out like there. That. Maybe to you know, there's, there's there is enough curl today. Not quite. Okay. Friday, this was unmakeable. Yeah. You got it. Really tough. What to come down just by quiet tap weight on it? Yeah. Look at it. It's gone. It's right underneath. So it's, it's this is tough. Now it's interesting as you look at it from this way. You, you just looking at it from my point of view, Please? club guy. Mr. Club Guy, <laughs> you want to play the intern going from left to right, but yeah, okay. as Christians in the third said, you're going to have to throw the other turn at it yep. to, to make it. How difficult is that then for, say, somebody like her to do that? It's against what you would normally do, Cheryl. Yeah, I think it's more a case of not knowing for sure what it's going to do in that path. Is it going to curl mm. enough for her? I'm not okay. sure she believes where to put the broom in yeah, this okay. spot. She does. does. Okay. True. Oh, yep. Quay, you can hear her, her oh, hard oh, Megan. Oh, Let's go, go, go Michelle. Go, 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 go. Get it by. Go, 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 oh, go. no. Good sweet thing. Manitoba will pick up a steal of one. She just wasn't comfortable with that other shot. We'll go to the break. 4-3, Manitoba leads it. Now over quickly to the game between Saskatchewan and uh, the Chelsea Carey team. One, two, three, four. No, sitting the three. Pardon sitting me. The right three. along the around the blue, around the four foot. That's, Just what, that's what's facing Sorry. Sorry. Sherry Anderson. My turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is facing three, but it's a tricky little shot because she has no room to move. Has to get to the stone in the four foot and nut it. But there is a stone at the top of the forefoot right in front of it. This team from the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon. And you have to sit down, roll away. And that will be a steal of two. So they'll go to the break. Five, three. On this Wednesday afternoon. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. By Home Hardware, here's how. By Sponge Towels Paper Towels, made for real life messes. And by OK Tire and BKT Tires. The Manitoba champions from the St. Vital Curling Club in Winnipeg. You see Renora Westcott there on the left. She is the alternate. Coach Victor Shell. As we take a look at the uh, the data after five. <laughs> well, you look at that deuce scored by Prince Edward Island Bird. It was that double she made in the first end to get that deuce. That's been tough against Team Jones. Then two forces. Then in the fourth end, you look at the come around that Lisa made to set up that deuce. Jen had a draw for her too. Again, Lisa Weagle in the fifth end set up shots. She's playing 98% top player in the field. You brought her here for a reason. And now PEI tries to regroup after giving up that steal of one as they sit with their coach Mitch O'Shea. On this Wednesday afternoon, it's our featured game, Manitoba PEI. The way that we're going to find success is just by putting our egos and our pride aside and leaning on each other and leaning on every single experience of every single rock that we throw out there and that's what's going to help us I think in the long run. I know everyone's going to be gunning for us but we're not going to focus too much on that. We're just going to focus on ourselves and do our own thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm expecting a really great game. Definitely going to have to bring our A game. So that is our featured game when we uh, join you this evening. And it'll be Team Canada against uh, Walker. Now we know that Anderson is in. 
Holman lost earlier today. So Walker tonight, if you can pick up that win, a fifth would put you in to the uh, championship pool. Remembering now top four in this group will go. 8.30 Eastern time. From here and Windsport Arena, all part of Canada Olympic Park. Canada's curling capital to be sure for the next couple of months. We were still mulling over that decision by Suzanne Berta. She does have last rock after giving up that steal of one. So PEI with the hammer playing the Yellowstones. But you get so fixated. I've got the last rock, Russ. I uh, need to get a deuce rather than maybe looking at saying it because she didn't want to play the other side. Right, right. And it would go when it may be against her instincts. But even if she just went down there and just got rid of it, tried to peel it out and got the blank. Yeah, exactly. There's two, th two, three options there. And I think the one she picked in my opinion is the, was the third option. She could have thrown like a hack weight across the face. And when you cross the face on a raised rock, your shooter won't roll it nearly as far. It's kind of a gear effect. So when the, the object rock hit, hit, when you hit the object rock, you get less spin. And I think they could have held it on the corner. One, B, don't give up the steel. So just throw one down there, be a weight. Hammered on the high side, you roll out, maybe blank the end. I hate to give away control like that to somebody like Jennifer Jones. Yep. Really hard. Oh, you got it. Hard. Really hard. Hard. Hard, Lisa. Hard, hard. What a girl. Wow, oh. What great sweeping. <laughs> you made that one. <laughs> <laughs> they did make that one. <laughs> well, you know, you think about what she did for all those years with Rachel Holman and the, that ability to brush for Lisa Weagle, and she's closest to the stone, so it was her rock. Squeeze in here. <laughs> but she's fit in very well. On the wrong side for her, too, isn't it? Yeah, she had to learn that. Yeah. They said if you're going to replace Dawn, and initially, she was going to be just the alternate. And then with Don McEwen electing to stay home, not entering the bubble, uh, she did uh, have to learn to brush on the new side. That's good. Works. Yeah. Well, then you're not changing too many things. You're not moving Jocelyn around. And mm -hmm. it's just one person has to learn. There's Don. <laughs> we wish her and Mike all the very best. Yeah. And Vienna. My daughter Vienna will now uh, have a playmate. Line's good. Fight center. Tight. Tight. Easy. Tight. Bit of room then. Oh. Oh, Lisa, I'm just curious though, because Four Vienna feet. was Four named feet. after yeah. one of Dawn's Lisa, favorite Lisa, cities Lisa. she's ever visited. No, That's how she got the name Vienna. Did you not know that? So are you worried they're going to go I'm just with wondering Mike's favorite? What, no, I just, I'm just wondering <laughs> what... Uh, what you could come up with. I mean, if you think of all the names. You can. Sorry, Jocelyn. Or Makdo. Oh. Nice, sweet. Good board. Whoa, whoa. Really did come around top yeah. there, too. Uh, some some nice, precise shot making out here. Okay, works. Through it good. Full four, guys. Okay, that one didn't slide like I thought it would, but I'm going to ignore it. Trust it, yeah. yeah. Jocelyn has really brought her numbers up. She was struggling a little bit early. And she was now she's now up to 94%. Lisa, as we showed you in the half, is 98%. So bodes well for setting up the ends. Line's decent. Sit if you can. Keep it out there. Happy. Full court. Six then, six two for Quebec. And it looks like they have a chance for a couple more. Well, what a difference one shot makes when Lori St. George sat in the hack on her first shot. She faced four Newfoundland Labrador stones, made a thin double, and left hers half buried. And in trying to access it, the Newfoundland skip chipped out her own. 
And all of a sudden now it's a draw for two. I don't think it's there, guys. One red. Oi. Wow. All right. Oh, okay. The apology from the skipper for coming up light. One red it is. Okay, don't come help then. I have my slider on, so I can't go on that side. So you call me as a clock? Quite a bit. Okay. I'm digging hack. Okay. Nice effort, but it's it's certainly okay, accessible. There's one in there, so. Yeah. PI's made three or four really good attempts that Caitlin's taken it away from them, and then it should be able to make this one too. A little more curl arrow, that's all they needed. Yep. Just hack. What I liked about that last one of Marie oh, Christensen's oh, was yes. that it wasn't deep. She's had a couple yeah, slid just yeah. a little bit behind T-line and giving Caitlin an out. Oh, it's a fight! Nice wait, Caitlin. Good throw, Caitlin. Chance for Marie to do it again. Uh, uh, Fernanda gave it all. Went heads down early, coast to coast. Oh, they take so much pride in getting stones by. You can just see. Marie Christensen. Get audible on that. They they good intended call. to That's cross the their okay. own Yellowstone, but it was a good call on that. and it just hung out. And so Suzanne was really heads up on the call and went to the back yes. one. That's always a going there. Brilliant lead because you nose that top yellow, Forward. it caroms onto the right red. Okay, the back one jams also. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and if you ever rubbed off your Forward? own yellow yep. wrist, I could have left to double in. Like yes, had to save yeah. it. Yeah, right. What do you? I'm, I'm guessing just a. Pack weight nose here, stay on top and shrink the area. It just ran forever. Yeah. BC and yeah. New Brunswick and getting ready for the final stone for, for Melissa Adams out of Fredericton. Well, that red stone you see is Corinne Brown's final thrown, thrown stone. It's in the pocket. They looked at it. It does seem, from New Brunswick's point of view, she tapped the red as though it is shot, but if she can touch it a little bit, she Go may wind up getting two out of it, but needs to be in the hearts on top of it for the single for sure. Yeah, maybe a little wait, enough wait, of a wait, wait. hole there. Final stone for the 98 Canadian and World Junior Champion. And they got the inside roll, and that'll be their single. Two yellow. Tapped it back oh just boy. that little Goodness bit. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Sorry, Alyssa. That's Good job. Good way to curl oh, it. That's great. Nothing personal. <laughs> Nothing personal. I just saw the one. <laughs> Time? I have to show my passport to get into New Brunswick. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're stopped at the border. Mm -hmm. Just come to it. Mm. What's that accomplishing, though? She might guard. She might tap tap. My thought was if he can get to the nose of that eight and just freeze right to it. Minish then he third. And then do you think you can get there the other way or tap have that to tap, one in for yeah. your second point? Just want to make sure we're scoring here, right? That's the yeah. goal. The win here is at least one. 
Yeah. So if we lock it on and then either she guards and then you use that or if she tries something over here, then if you If we use lock it. it on, she might tap to the button. And then you have your and sitting right, right there to there. tap, tap again. Okay. We just got to make sure you get to nose. Okay. Okay. Nose or even. Is it nose or just high? High. Yeah. Hair high. A touch high. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be too high. Okay. Eyes not bad. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, to the nose a bit. Just a corner freeze on that. That's the play? Mm-hmm. Yeah, really good. Because then Jennifer can't guard then because it's, or she can guard, I guess, but you're guaranteed your point. And you can probably get in this way with with a very accurate one or a tap. Tap. Tap would be easier, wouldn't it? To consolidate that point, I think, is the key. You, you could tap that out, stay on top, but you might leave a, a yellow double for Jennifer. Shot Rock still belongs to uh, yeah, bad. PEI, would appear. That's stone back four. There is a double now, though. The unfortunate part is if if they had taken that red rock out, then it was a tough hit for Jennifer to get that rock to clear this red one. Now that she's kind of come out in front of it, it's just a straight nose hit, and you can get that yellow very thin. They go that way. And if this is made, there's a red one there. Trouble. It's amazing how fast something, you know, you're clean, whoa, whoa, looks good, nice yeah. shot, angle, you're, you're almost perfect. And, uh oh. This is huge. I don't know how uh, Suzanne gets in there. I, I know Suzanne's had to be precise, but I, your error was definitely on the yeah, short side yeah. of that. No. no. Little grimaces, she lets go. Jennifer Jones. No, oh, and gets away with go the Caitlin. stuff. Now that catcher oh, just spins by that. And so uh, setting a second shot here. Got away with the yeah. one there, boy. Sorry, it works. Yep. When they all Sorry, settle, is there a way getting in to tap that back for two, do you think, or not? I don't think so. Yeah. No, nothing there. Boy, that could have gone really bad for Jen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's the commentary. <laughs> and that's not the first time she's taken her brushers out of it, seems to me. Yeah, no. Looks like there might be an outturn to their red-yellow port, but obviously it's a small port. And that looks a lot like the one she turned down the last end. Very true. That's one I don't feel until after. You know, <laughs> when like, you can see it, you're like, oh. Um. <laughs> Uh, you were, this was the uh, question mark coming in, wasn't it? About uh, she had been 59% on Still the week. Back. Now curling 83 on her draws. Yeah, she's been brilliant on draws. That affords you a lot of confidence out there. Nice. Good one. Very nice. PEI and Suzanne Burt. We're tied at four. Manitoba against Prince Edward Island. That's our feature here on this Wednesday afternoon as we uh, begin the second half of our week. Round robin play today and again uh, tomorrow before we uh, head towards the championship pool on Friday. Will there be tiebreakers? This is the pool right now where you think there possibly could because you've got so many teams. Oh, eight of nine still with a possibility of catching one of those top four spots. We're tied at four. And it is Manitoba with Last Rock playing the uh, Redstones. I think Jan will try and stack 
fusing good freezes up in the center here and then try and blast and maybe look for a blank. She didn't throw a corner. Easy Jocelyn. You can get some of these here, angles good Stay and then play it. some runs with Even Jocelyn and blank yep. seven only, whoa, going to whoa, eight whoa, with whoa, Hammer. Whoa, whoa. You've got some no, control no, there. High. We're tapping. No, we're tapping. No, 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 you can't tap. No, 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 no. no. Good line no. here though. No, 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 it's gotta go. Get in there. Get in there. Finish, finish. Good. 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 Nice. Top eight. Hey. Lisa is just oh, having an nice. outstanding yeah. game. Which helps down the line. You know, Jocelyn's 94 because her shots are slightly easier than maybe some other games. That's for sure, because you're going to take out your own. Just. I'm seeing a couple of red there. They belong to uh, Quebec Final Storm coming up Newfoundland and Labrador Sarah Hill. Well, a couple of struggles today That's in this awesome. game for Sarah Hill with draw weight. Had the opportunity to draw in, but went through. And that allowed Laurie St. George to yeah, hit Lori. to lie too. A nose hit here is good enough for shot. And it is, so she catches half of the eight. Three perfect curling shots by Manitoba. Come around with nice depth in front of the tee lines, but bumped since. Angle freeze and a perfect hit and roll. And no risk, really. Things keep setting up like this, and she may look change gears from looking at a yeah. flank to looking at a three or four. Yeah. Top four, it's on. Top four. Yep, yeah, Michelle a bit. Michelle. Top four. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Coming down. It's good. It's good. Good. Oh boy. Nice play too. It really busted at the end. It was a good throw. Yeah, it did. Okay. And if we peel, that's Same high. weight. Okay. Feels good. Either that or we try to run this in and move them around, but I think yeah. I like this. Yep. I'm going to sleep it again. Once this is peeled, Cheryl, okay. do, do you not think you could hit that yellow at 9 million miles an hour and get. Well, you probably don't get the shot rock, but you can get all three reds moving. Yes, hard! Hard! Well, hard! Ooh, might be done for them. Staying with it all the way. And trying to roll it over. Go, 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 go. Okay. Drives it by, okay. now sets herself up with a corner on the edge of the eight. I think you can, Russ. The top two go for sure, don't they? It's the back one that I. Yeah, the yellow squirts the red back somewhere, but pro certainly not out, I don't think. Or guard. I think we guard. Top 12. What do you think? Yeah, and the risk with playing Thank that you. shot is that if the angles don't work out Where's for you, you call? spread everything around, you actually help Manitoba. Right. True. So just keep applying the pressure oh, here on the center. Easy. Don't want to give her something to run. Yeah. Got it. Hit. This is where it can be a bit frustrating and you have to keep your confidence up that, you know, there's probably four perfect shots from Manitoba, but you look down and go, these angles aren't quite right. Peel and try and take yours in. Okay. How much weight? Peel. Peel weight? Okay. 
the calf should. I love these calls away. where it's it's a defensive call first, but it, it can end up being an offensive play also. Yeah. You know, the angles half the traditional peel would hit half a rock and it's going to run into that red one. If you can get the top half of the red one, it'll kick it into the rings. Could be an awful lot of reds in the rings when this is done. And just an exchange hey. of stones. I think the same shot. Okay, Caitlin, good throw. Same spot. Hey. Got it? Yep. Jen really wanted that out of there, mm -hmm. that corner, because it's in the way of her draw, too, if things just yes. continue like this. Top 12. Top 12. Top 12. Okay. now. Coming. Still really tight. You want to go for line? Oh, Almost line. top 12. Okay. okay. Good. Okay. Maybe come off the back of that red rush. You could still play that again. Yes. Or run something right into that pile. Just the angles don't look great for Manitoba. No. Are going to try and make a play on this? Would you ever just... And just move them around. Would you ever consider... Ever just roll in, it's not the end of the world, but I might have something Angling that off. yellow, hitting what you can see. You're, may, you may you oh lose God, the no. yellow. You're going to use that angled red, but now you're left with sitting two, or is that not there? Well, I, th yeah, I think, Cheryl, if, if, if reds, I was talking about blasting it for yeah, PI, but if, in the case of yeah. Jennifer Jones, if you threw, like, a board or something... And you know, move the red back a little bit, maybe maybe into this area. The yellow kicks out in the open. You've saved both of these. Okay, you're gonna go with it that way. Yeah. All right. I thought you'd play. And first of all, my name. Don't call me Cheryl. <laughs> Stop calling me Cheryl. <laughs> Stop calling me Cheryl. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't make direct play on the yellow because you couldn't remove it. Eh? You couldn't angle that yellow back and get it to squirt. The one at the top of the button. Yeah. Like that, or do you want to just hit what you could see? Or maybe, maybe you'd get it behind the T line. Okay. Drag a little bit. We probably. But they see what you see now. I think. Oh, well, there you go. We're the, losing the four. Yeah, now you can call me Cheryl. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's it was all Cheryl's yeah. idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the time. What? Call a time out. Yeah, here they go. It's a big shot. Across just the eight. So we'll get a first Pardon look me? at Victor Shell. No, because then I think it just goes. I think, I think it unlocks it, these, but. Yeah, then I think for sure you lose the three. I think if you hit it on this side, you may not lose the three. Okay. So on that way? Well, I think no, if you play Jen's it here. This way. Yeah. I think we might get things going that yeah. direction. I think regardless of what, you just got to make sure they move it around a little bit. I don't don't think that seven is going to go pretty far anywhere. Don't, no, unless that? I play this now and unlock this. Still think then that's the staggers it. that the staggers killing us. The other thought we like thought is throwing back line. I know I did see that. She just looks really hard. If we feather off the three and we go here, that's not bad. Yeah. Still feel like the run is to call. But I don't think we have to throw peel. Do like you? No. Normal? You're gonna lose a bunch but of. Where are we leaving yeah, our shooter? Yeah. Center guard. No, yeah. like I think. Yeah, I guess you throw it harder. Like I'm thinking you hit three quarters of that just to move these all around. Yeah, just and try to unlock rolls. the angles are bad for them. Yeah, okay, get the red, the yellow one frozen. Like that's, that. that's the key. You like the chase better? No, I just want to make sure we give you something. Like, I yeah. don't want to leave a center guard and not have anything and lose our reds. But yeah, both are hard shots, so. I think this is that's pretty good if we chase here. And if yeah. we, it, it's the same almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Back line, Kate. Back line. Okay. Like saw it. You want to be like just through? Just through yeah. Okay. I think yeah. Like, I like it better than the run away yeah. Jen. Playing with so many like rocks in play for so many years, right and, you, and you, nobody's yeah. probably ever seen this exact situation, but you've you've been in so many that are similar. Right, I like their thought Let's process through. here. I think I might have run the yellow one in, but. So hackboard weight is that the call and come off that top yellow one? I think. Top eight. Yellow roll left yeah. and try to move things around. I just don't know if that weight's going to do no, it. No, like where, where is the run back? You can throw whatever weight you want. Oh, he's good. Oh. Back 
line. Oh. Yep. Final Let's. stone, Caitlin Laws. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Starting to go now. Whoa. 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 Gets to that Whoa. line, really starts Whoa. to go. No wrong. Actually, roll it. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Really good, Caitlin. Beauty. Beauty. Pistol. Great throw. Thanks. Good suit, guys. Really nice, Kale. Nice shot, Kale. Perfect hole. Nice oh, they can play off that yellow now. <laughs> A blank means that it yeah, remains 5-5 five, five with Team Wildcard uh, Tracy Fleury. Chelsea Carey skipping leading there. And BC has gotten a couple. Not if we just roll. New Brunswick still in control. Because this is frozen right now. Did we already call a timeout? Nice yes. shot. What do you like here, Megan? Like, that's that doing anything for us? Not really. Probably not. I could do that. Draw there or draw here. I'm yeah. wondering about corner freezing which. the top eight red, but Ruskin, is there enough room to get by? Yes. That for, yellow on the left and for, for play Gen that double off your own? For Jennifer, get, yeah. Yeah, or off their yellow. Yeah. Like this moved a little in, so I, this is harder to remove now than it was. If like there's that. room, do I. Do you like there? This one. Are we, yes. What are we trying yeah. to get out of this? Like for Jennifer. Shot. Are we trying to get, because she can do this, right? Or do you think that's going anywhere? No. Okay, here's good. So you want to get to the inside of it. At least if she plays that, then her like will be second shot. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Do we want to be like half in the floor? You could also bump the top red that's this, frozen. Yeah, right here. Bump, bump, and get one, a couple more behind the T line. They, they, they're, they're pretty happy that the yellow's snuggled in there, but for how long? But there's only one yellow. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. That would be concerning. So that's the call then to get a second one. Corner frozen on yeah. that red. And if they make any play to remove that, you've got another yellow in there. Right. Same kind of path here, 95. Yeah. Same as there. Great shot by Caitlin. Was it ever? Where, they, where she was aiming, you hardly see anything. <laughs> Suzanne Burt, her first. It's really spinning. It's really spinning. Whoa. T, just T. Stay close. Just Me T. Megan draw. Line's really nice. Back four. Whoa, 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 whoa. Coming around now. Nice. Good, good. Not quite frozen. Shot. Pretty good. Again, really late good. movement. Nice play because he, she can use it now. You can like hammer half of that and get rid of a lot of red. If we straight peel. She's if we straight peel, this goes into there. Yeah. Or we just play the run now. But we're losing probably a couple, so I think we try that. And if we straight peel. Look, I think if I hit this high, it should go in. Well, on my next one, oh, like I yeah, think yeah. I could make. Yeah, yeah. Do you think there's enough space? Okay. I think so, eh? Yeah, this is the danger shot. There wasn't a lot PI could do about it, though, I don't no. believe. It's just, yeah. That's though why they didn't, the call to corner freeze that top red eight wouldn't have been good because they play this and now they're sitting three reds. Yeah. So at yeah. least by corner freezing into the we top know. of the four foot. Yeah. Caitlin's shot was so good. It, oh. uh, it I don't think this created do two anything. options, which PI couldn't take both away. Heel is better than hitting it too thick. Okay. I think we're just enough. Boy. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, back it up, Lord. back it up here. Oh, yep, Outside yep. edge, trying to hold this for Weagle. And it crashes all over hard, it. Hard, and hard, then, hard, oh, hard, hard, hard. It's a little bit of a break. Oh hey. my goodness, uh, is it ever. Big break. Oh. It's good, Jen. It's really good. It's one of those, I'm sorry. It's good. Yeah, it, it is. Didn't call that. Yeah, me too, I was like good, I'm like, oh. Bends a little more. She jams yellow onto yellow, takes out the red, and leaves three yellow in there. Uh, they got fortunate. Only yellow again, Cheryl. She's uh, 
She's fighting it though, isn't she? Yeah. And as you can so tell just from her expression, okay. just okay. Are we trying not to comfortable. Be like Jennifer trying? Jones. Nope. Mm -hmm. okay. nope. <laughs> they going right back. Same spot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. But it's. Same way to do it. Yeah. That's it's got to be perfect. We got it. Higher on the stone, uh, Russ. Yeah, a little bit would be nice. Like mm -hmm. she, you know, she was so perfect last time. But it, four inches lighter, if, if possible. Now they talked about a lot of rotation the first time, which Susan usually always does, but that was good awareness. No line right now. Okay, we're back. This looks a little back hotter. Eight. Stay close. Back eight. Stay eight. very close. Back eight. Stay close. Back. Megan. <laughs> Megan. 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 Yep. Good. Okay. <laughs> it's good. Just two yeah, good shots by like this one. Bert. No yeah. kidding. This one, yeah, I hope this one stays. I think if I hit this high, that just might go sideways into that, eh? Yeah, like this might, I don't know. I think we want to try and just like, yeah, okay. But like crotch or hit the You can do first. that okay. into there. It's a pretty simple shot for two, mm -hmm. Cheryl? Yes. Uh, I think he could hammer that also. That goes. I don't know how far that one goes. This one's gone. Where's but your, the raised rock kicks into there, and then that, that might bring way? this rock no, into I'm play. Looking, thinking out loud. <laughs> like a, no, not really. Like a nose hit could give you three, I think. Maybe four off. Yeah, three. I don't see a downside, do you? I'd be worried about that top red stone going across the top of Bert's yellow. If you tick it yes. first, okay, Whoa. right. Well, we'll find out now, Whoa. final stone. Whoa. Whoa. Right now it is Manitoba just sitting the one. Weagle again, picks her up at the hog line. Bang, here we go. And one for two. sure. Have a look, two at the top. And two red it is as they kick them away. Manitoba gets a deuce. I said it before, it's like curling in a chalet with all the wood beams here at this beautiful Windsport Arena. Expect Heidi and Grandfather to be coming over the hill <laughs> yodeling. 6 4, Manitoba leads it. Prince Edward Island will have the last rock here in the eighth, and the PEI lead is Michelle McQuaid. Hear me yodel? Work. Not particularly. Okay, no. Maybe when we're off air. <laughs> Can really offend. No, not even then. <laughs> no. How's the line? Line needs to finish. Other than Jennifer's first there, which worked out <laughs> way better than it probably should have. They made seven incredible yeah. curling shots that in. Halfway, probably. Halfway. Half, Jen. Well, you can see the halfway. outstanding game halfway. that. Uh, Lisa Weevil is, is throwing. Yeah. Well, and look at the, her setup shots again here. Mm -hmm. Clean it. Yeah. She Light did say she was welcomed right Please. away and uh, told to Halfway. don't be a, a wallflower, Lisa. don't be a shrinking violet. Halfway. Just make sure Lisa. Lisa. you express Halfway. an opinion. And, and she Halfway said, you know high. what? I've been around too long. I'm not going to play that kind of game. And she only knows that this is for this year. So uh, she was quite prepared and thought that she might end up not playing and might turn her attention to some coaching and working with Curling Canada in some capacity. Oh, she'd be an incredible coach. I know she works already with the, the Next Gen program. She's one of the coaches, athletes, current athletes that are playing that some of these teams like a a Zacharias and uh, this Quebec team, they can reach out to uh, Peterson's team. What an advantage for young players. Oh, look at this. Okay. Oh, just rolled out of here too far. Very good. 
think if you can we're leave not. it. We're one, two. Yeah, I don't think you can leave it. You guys like the double? Yeah. Or if I play the run? Mm, I don't like a run. Yeah. I like the double. Yeah. Or what, what else do you like, Jen? Just think we're putting all our marbles in right away. Play the double. Make it, Joss. Do you want to roll out or? No. No, yeah, yeah no, I, well, yeah, it's, it's pretty much a nose, though. Okay. Firm. <laughs> this is where Jen, <laughs> Jen wanted to go yep. for it. She wanted, she looks at this and says yep. the setup's perfect. The other team's going, you know what? We're up a couple points. They're looking at the scoreboard. Yeah. Clean. She's Whoa. just going with her yep. nature. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Clean. Yep. Yep. Roll it out. Got them both. Nice shot. Nice shot, Josh. Yeah, if Jennifer played hockey, uh, she wouldn't have been the goalie. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Well, we kind of compare Quebec to Jennifer Jones, that all-out offense, and most certainly in an event like this when teams come in with lack of reps, if you can put, if you can get there first and put the pressure on, you're getting some mistakes out of teams. Just gets to the nose, pushes it back. Yeah. Manitoba, however, is sitting the uh, sitting the one. Newfoundland and Labrador pick up a steal of one, but Quebec okay. still up. I don't know what. No, that's fine. I like that too. And New yeah. Brunswick adds yeah. to their total up by space. five on BC. Like okay. It's Top four. All line. Caitlin. Wow. Yeah, I have to like use the all the fingers. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> Saskatchewan sitting the uh, the five, and that's what is facing Chelsea Carey with her uh, with her last. And you can imagine that for Chelsea Carey and her team, they tried to play taps, they tried to freeze on things to create a deuce, and Saskatchewan just having no part of it. On her final stone, Sherry played a very soft way to get behind a guard and roll to shot stone Hard needs water, to get water. to the nose uh -oh. Uh -oh. Like this is curling if it ticks it's trouble and sits back there oh, wow it will be a <laughs> steal of one wow one red, one red. Oh. <laughs> okay Close. Okay. Back four. T. T. Stay close. T. Just freezing down on top. Maybe a little tap. Yeah. Michelle's. Okay. Just Let T. it work. Where? Just T. T. Just T. Michelle. Michelle. Hard, hard, hard. Hard, yeah. Michelle. Whoa. Very good. Shot. Oh, oh. <laughs> very nice. Covers the pinhole. PEI, shot rock. I think we throw weight. What? I don't know. Or we freeze. Marie Christensen, yeah, she's just having a game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you like playing weight? Yeah. Okay. Like peel? Yeah. Horse and Caitlin to some tough ones. Yeah, but you know what? There you go. That's why you're a two time gold medal winner in both disciplines. Caitlin Laws yeah, came through her with her the head. shot to, to help her skipper in that last end. Yeah, she's, uh, she's had some tough ones uh, because of the way Marie's played, but uh, oh. this sets it up. This really sets it up here. They, and it, to see the shot, they had two options. You could have hammered it in and rearranged the furniture, but managed to get at this almost buried rock, opens it up for Jennifer to come in off of, and rolls right where Jennifer can come off of. You can't guard both of them for PI. Set, set up the deuce. Here's Laws now. Bang. We'll open it up or unlock it by getting that stone off the back. Still leaves PEI sitting the one. But much better. Gets rid of the backing, gets rid of one yellow. Okay. Just cross it a bit. Time on this. Yeah, we know. Come off. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's going to happen, so let's do it. Got it. Take a couple feet off here. 
Not very often, but today, outstanding game by Marie Christensen. Out curling, Caitlin Law is one of the very best. Has to curl a lot. It's not very heavy. Leave a corner open. Yeah. Yes. Probably a freeze will come up here now for Jennifer. You got it. They're hoping to sit two there, but it's been a good nice spot. effort. This has to be good. A little bounce off would not be you like beneficial. I may have stopped like brushing on that no. one just to maybe guard this freeze a little bit more when you knew there? you weren't going to get second Fort shot. 15. Wait, it just oh, for sure, yeah. And like I tapped on my first one, mm. but the not definitely it. took a couple feet off. It, it. Already talking weight. This is the time in the game where the slide path is starting and you, you really do have to give the skip a little bit of a heads up that that's what you're starting to feel. Numbers don't work so well, uh, you know, at this stage to talk about the path. That's a fair light, light, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Close, light out of her hand, they're thinking. Line's good. You need to close more. Get lighter. Call you, light's great. Weasel. Yes! Closer to the stone, line. Peterman out in front. Look at this. Oh, what great judgment, huh? They knew it before she even released it. They needed a brush. That's just nice outstanding. Great it's even more outstanding because she has been struggling a little bit with the draw weight. Heavy on a couple. Get it there! Yep, yep! Hard! Well judged. Beauty. Really nice. Great sweep. You can't really release yeah. it if you're uh, Suzanne either because then you're no longer shot. Jennifer caps it. You can't give up a steal and go down three with two ends to go. Do you have to unlock it or? No. Because you just. We can. Uh, you can't tap it. Yeah, it's been a struggle. You know, when you think about the uh, appearances for her, this is number 12. Best appearance is when she came right out of a juniors. She won the Canadian Juniors back in 01 and 02. Won the World Championship and just absolutely burst onto the scene in the 11 Scotties, or in the, uh, pardon me, 03 Scotties. And uh, lost her first, if I remember correctly, and then ran the table, ended up winning a bronze medal that year. It's just right. finding Fire that off. right combination. Keep, keep going. Yep. Keep going. Rub it off. Keep going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Knee rub, knee rub. And there it is. And, the, and the, 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 when we talk to these players often, I mean, you make, and sometimes they'll make excuses about, when you say, you know, donating points from playing down east. She said, you know what? We, we approach the game exactly the way we want. If we wanted to travel, we would. But this is the way we prepare, and no excuses, no apologies, and uh, credit to her. No, and I think, too, what's happening, which is great, look at the, this young Quebec team. Uh, they've got a great opportunity to repeat as a provincial champion, PI, almost every year. So I think what's happened is they've gone, wait a minute, we're, we're in the Scotties almost every year. It's worth going at this thing uh, seriously. And you don't have to travel to be great, You'd, but they've put a lot of effort in the gym. Mm -hmm. their strategy and they just throw a lot of rocks and the, in and the quebec team too they're young they still got their most of them are i believe still in school so they've traveled to the closest yeah. events mm -hmm. to them and they they have gone before the season was canceled they played a couple of events in southern ontario want to talk about it i think i like this okay that's adding to the depth Board. even farther here isn't it with the you know a couple of other provinces getting that much better Gonna try the tap here. They are. I got caught there. It was you either tap a little Wait farther or, or stop sweeping and leave it guarded again. Right. Final yeah. stone for Manitoba and yeah. Jennifer Jones. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
close. Bye, Josh. Now Peter to nurse it over. Oh, oh dear. Oh, very, very nice try. Good throw, Jen. Are we shot? No. no. That's why um, you see that yellow on the <laughs> left. That's why Suzanne wanted to tap that out a little oh, further. Yeah, she got caught in between. <sighs> You know, in a sense, too. Remember in the last, the last end, that first stone by Jones, where she got a little lucky and it came across and took off the yellow mm -hmm. stuff. Yep. Yes. Well, here this is maybe the curling gods giving it right back. <laughs> yep. right? There are such a thing. Yeah, she was so close to making that. <laughs> and look at that. Uh, both of them are struggling somewhat, but Bert with the slight advantage. The player numbers are brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. It's just that hair slower, and you have to be nice. Yeah. Boy, if you'd ever see got more it, of that yellow it. one, it would be a raised double for four. If that yellow one had kicked out a little farther. You saw the number for Suzanne's draws, though. They're helping her out this game. 86% she's brought that way up and this side, up her here. Sorry, Cheryl. This side sat for a while. Yes, early. Up four. Mine's nice. Michelle. Mine's really Girl has good. one. Definitely Michelle's Use yeah. McQuaid early. <laughs> And here it goes. Here it goes. They got to get it by their own top eight. Oh, they can't, and it's just the single. It's a good throw. It's a tough spot. Not quite the end I was thinking of. <laughs> Prince Edward Island managed to uh, get a single, but it's, or pardon me, PEI gets the single. And Manitoba still leads by one as we welcome you back. We go to the ninth now, and Manitoba with last one playing Yellowstone. The difference in the game is that steal in five, the single point. We we're just chatting in the break, whether in fact that shot was even there to get two, whether she should have, the she being uh, Suzanne Burt, just play the the hit and try to get the blank and move on. She elected the tougher of the two and gave up the steal of one. And that's your difference. They've been so close, Prince Edward Island, like some nice come arounds, but then Caitlin makes the freeze. And, or they, that last shot, just a fresh path. They hadn't been out there for a while. It sat for a while, got a little stale and just died at the last second. And as you said, Vic, the difference is probably that uh, could have maybe tried the blank, or guaranteed themselves a single one way or the other. They've uh, forced uh, Manitoba to work, that's for sure. Queen's there. Yeah. It's probably back four to it. Just wide enough, it's not going to take that slow path. Shot. I almost think we have to go there. My double peel. Or you guys want to do just peel? It could double peel. Should we double peel into the red? Or this no? one, yeah. Yeah. That's the call. I, yeah. I don't like this. <laughs> no. Cross the top. Look for more points. <laughs> Let's go, Joss. You got it. Backing doesn't hurt now for PEI. Manitoba would have loved to have clipped that top redstone of theirs. Megan Hughes. Yeah, you want to junk it up, don't you? You almost, yep. we're in the ninth, but you approach it, no, oh dear. You okay. approach it almost as if it was desperate tenth, don't you? It is, you have to go Eight. all out for the steal. Eight. 
Dropping in Kathy on Quebec and Newfoundland and Labrador and the uh, final stone coming up for the uh, skip St. George. Well she has an open hit for three in this end. There was a timeout taken by Newfoundland and Labrador already lying one elected to play a draw. They did not get into the house and so that means it's an open shot. Make that for two. And that is the game and the win for Quebec who improved their record now to five and two and uh, that will guarantee them at least a tiebreaker. Yeah, for PEI, yeah, I mean, you play hard for this steal. You get a force out of it. Now you've got Hammer back. You're down two points. You can tie it up in 10. But you could get a seal out of it. Should be able to hold this. The risk, of course, with playing the force is you don't want to give Manitoba a bunch of points. We've seen it happen in this end often. Clean. Yep. Ten and a half. Hard. Just try too hard. Whoa. Yeah, you... you you're trying so hard, you're leaving rocks in play to get that force. And then a great shot gets made by Manitoba and suddenly they score a big end and then the game's over. You don't even give yourself a chance. Very nice roll. Well, I'm seeing uh, one yellow, so a chance here, I guess, for Flurry to tie, go ahead to playing ninth. Is that right? It is a draw for two. Sherry Anderson played a hit on her final, tried to actually also pick out that yellow stone to leave a force for Chelsea Carey, but did not catch enough of it to move it, and so draw needs full eight. And Chelsea Carey, of course, throwing, and the skip now filling in for Tracy Flurry out of the East St. Paul Curling Club. Go if you have to. So Liz Fife, Christian McCush. You can hear Selena Negevin yep. calling line. Hi, Liz. Oh, Hi, get, Liz. Uh, find that go, window go, go, there. Go, go, get go. through that hole. Keep Big going, draw. Oh, Sorry, man, just, did they work that <laughs> for the two. Two yellow. I just didn't Ooh. see it. Sorry, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Boy, what a game that <laughs> is. Like, uh, if it's like the one's yeah, gonna be okay, like, just go. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> little last, just yeah. Chelsea Carey, if she was an inch wider last end, she ticks, yeah. gives up a steal of five. Hard. Now she's one up. Hard. 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 You got it. Hard. Hard. You gotta go. You gotta go. Go, go, go. Got it. Oh, Hard. and they do. Okay. They spill it out the back. Yeah. Yeah, really just hack. Yeah. Hey, Caitlin. Good to see you. Hey, Joss. <sighs> Thanks for taking that. You can't really get there. This light. Sorry, nice I didn't throw. think I was that quiet, but yeah. It sense that it yeah, an 11 and a half. Yeah. Oh, shoot. That was no. a lot last time. Yeah. I made the hit and roll. Right, so. Oh, on the nose. Yeah. Got really oh, lucky shot, uh, so PEI did okay. with that little tick of that redstone behind their yellow. You got it. Watch it, watch it. Oh, go, 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 go. brother. Uh. Just down a touch in that center area. Yeah. 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 Yo. To your point, to Cheryl. Try too hard to force. Oh, and things just haven't worked out. They got a little bit of a break the shot before, but then bad break back again. They've had a ton of close. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A ton of it. It probably doesn't add up to much, but. Board, maybe? Hey, Jen. Board. 
we either try to get right to nose or roll big. I just don't want to be in front of ours, Lisa, so she okay. freezes right. them. Yeah. Okay. Cord weight? Yeah. This will curl, Joss. Good, yeah. Good I'll awareness. If you roll a couple of feet, then Suzanne comes to the back one. It's buried, it frozen, where, and you uh, can't get it out. I'm just thinking Probably. if you come this way, it might give her this, the slash might be easier for her. Hold it on, yeah, sure. Hit, hit. Hit. Very nice. Good sweep. Great weight just to so do the job, hold the shooter. The a little yeah. bit of brushing to get it to move a bit at the end. The freeze being the hardest shot in curling, because you'd like to have it there, but if it, there's any angle to it at all, out it goes. So the only choice here for Prince Edward Island to stay alive here, to get that in here somewhere. You'd love to be in front of the tee line, but it has to be buried. a couple draws here a couple ends ago remember those freezes i think it's gonna be similar speed okay. yeah okay, actually buried t line you only have to move it like two rocks yeah it. final stone down by one as we play here in nine. Manitoba with last rock. Can you hide this somewhere? To Russ's point, it has to be buried. It's your only chance at a possible steal or the force. Line's good. Weight looks good too. Might even over curl. Just to there, and it'll go deeper than that. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And just is the shot rock. Yeah. Uh, it may have come out the other yeah. side. Definitely. I like it. Yeah, Jen. Definitely. Just two feet lighter, and that thing's gold. That kind of game for them. It has. The line was brilliant. Started well. They had the hammer, well, played aggressively, got a deuce to yeah, yeah, start it off. Feet. How much oh, I'm just being bored. Okay. I remember she was. Uh, did she not crash? It was a two it ends ago, three ends ago, right? similar. Yeah. So. With an out turn. Oh, Jennifer, yes. Yeah. Yes, she did. She was, uh, it overcurled on her. Right. She got really frustrated. This is the same spot. Whew. Wow. Having a good day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you could remember two ends ago. <laughs> Maybe a chance to bank the win right now. Yep. Reed's good. Out of her hand, they like the way. Uh oh, now did it go oh, again on them? Oh. Did it go again on them? Oh, 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 oh. Jocelyn Peterman all the way down. Going to lose it? Yeah, sure they will, but there is one, two, and three for Manitoba. That was so close. That was really close. What did I do? Yeah, shake of the head and the frustration. PEI knows they, they should have done better. Nine five Manitoba leads it, and uh, they've elected to make the uh, switch. So change at the lead position. As Lee, so Weagle goes and sits down, and that brings in Renora Westcott, former Scotty Silver medalist. That was with uh, Michelle Englott back in 17. Now making a fifth Scotty's appearance. Good. Go firm. Firm? Yeah, the few lines over there, yeah. 
Well, New Brunswick has picked up a win. Nine to five over BC. Melissa Adams from the Capital Winter Club. Fredericton, a winner over Corinne Brown from MacArthur Island Kamloops, both now three and three. As we said earlier, the New Brunswick team starting very slowly, but have uh, now picked up three yeah. straight wins. Getting comfortable with the ice and the environment, everything. Rock's not helping Manitoba in play, so pretty high. Get one on the button and then throw the rest through. And then you peel. Oh, you got Megan? Hey. Okay. Good. Throw peel. I'll take this one. Take your own out in this situation. Even the one on the top button's probably not helping, Jennifer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Probably need this back because we need three more in there. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yep. Four. Yeah. Twenty-five. Still back to all. Megan Coming Hughes. Down. It's trying. Let me know if you want me to go. Oh, so no. Didn't think so, but. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'd like you to go, but you're better. <laughs> you Good throw. Place. Have to leave room for four of them. <laughs> And across center line and looking to avoid leaving up the corner. Hey, Josh. Nice throw. Good. Hey. Good seat. Yeah. Two really nice draws. Just nice. Manitoba coming at three and two, as well as Prince Edward Island. Tight. Halfway. Halfway. Mine's good. Halfway. Okay. Well, team uh, wild card, uh, Chelsea Carey skipping the flurry team up by one, sitting the one it appears. There it is on the lid. Or no, pardon me, that's Anderson it on is. the lid. So this is a draw for the win. It is indeed. That red stone on the lid was the first stone thrown by Sherry Anderson. The yellow stone at the back of the eight was the final stone thrown by Chelsea Carey, trying to corner freeze onto that shot stone. Was heavy, needs full forefoot for two and the win. 71% on her draw so far today. As we watch Caitlin Laws as well. Saskatchewan three and two. Wild card four and two. Hits. Nap. Big draw. Can you get it there? Full four. Little more. Little more. 
Hill and a little pat in the back, and they will get it there. Incredible brushing. That was a skip's deuce. If, it, if nothing went right, that in for Saskatchewan, and Sherry Loop went around, and Chelsea was just deep on her freeze attempt. You know, we talked about people who love this game and said earlier this week, that lady, Sherry Anderson, is just curling royalty in Saskatchewan. Four and two now, four and three for well, team wildcard. I mean, the fact that she she makes the draw, but the excitement that she shows. <laughs> right? I mean, still has huge passion for this game. It was interesting. Uh, Chelsea took edge of the eight to play the freeze. Sherry went two and a half feet wider. Got out in the good stuff. Knew, knew she could throw it to her rushers that way. Jones first got something. Oh. Nothing. Oh, oh. Are you kidding? Oh, oh. Okay, Jen. Okay. Sink another one. Jennifer's going to have to make an awfully nice freeze or sit two somehow with where there's no double. Man. Sink one right around there. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Jen just had so much weight for the peel on any little setback, and you can tend to do that on that spot as a right-hand curler on the left side of the sheet and just tracked straight down there. Great chance. Well, you got an opportunity here, ladies. You got a chance here. Can you sneak this by? And there's the spill in. Looks good. Weight was great. You got this. Oh, you look at the game story. Uh, high point at the fifth. What do you think? I agree. That freeze by Caitlin Lozvik was incredible, and I think it was a turning point. All the momentum switched at that time. As we play here in the tent, the game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official cop of the Curling Camp. Make something go away. Would have been so interesting had Suzanne <laughs> sunk that. <laughs> what did it ever? Oh. My goodness. Clean. Final yes. stone. Clean. Jennifer Jones. Okay, so done. And very nice. Thanks for the game. Good luck. And thank you for the game. Yeah. That's it. They'll run them out of stones, and Manitoba Jeez. will pick up the win <laughs> to improve their record to four and two. Three and three now. Make the final. Nine to five. Suzanne Burt still looking for that consistency. So we know now in pool A that Anderson and Holman are through. We know in pool B. St. George with the win has guaranteed herself at least a tiebreaker. And then there's that little separation. Remember all those teams at two losses? Now we've only got Anderson and Jones. But, but, but we still have eight of the nine still very much alive. Remembering, of course, the top four will advance. The Scotties turn them apart. And we are in Calgary.
The Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. By Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. By Purex Bathroom Tissue, the only soft sorbent one. And by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. The way that we're going to find success is just by putting our egos and our pride aside and leaning on each other and leaning on every single experience of every single rock that we throw out there and that's what's going to help us I think in the long run. I know everyone's going to be gunning for us but we're not going to focus too much on that. We're just going to focus on ourselves and do our own thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm expecting a really great game. Definitely going to have to bring our A game. And the defending champions are the only remaining undefeated team. And they will be on the ice in our featured game at 8.30 Eastern time against Laura Walker. And Alberta Walker comes in with a record of four and two as we slowly figure this all out. The top four teams in each pool will advance. Well, PEI, I think they do rue that decision in five, electing to go for the tougher of the two instead of going for the blank. And certainly isn't happy with PEI's loss here on Canada Sports Leader. Oh my, TSN.